Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today, we're looking at a new release from Springfield Armory called the 1911 Operator. Check that out. It's a beautiful looking handgun and shooting handgun. I've taken it to the range on a couple occasions, and it only enhanced my love for 1911s. Full size, eight round mags, 1911 handgun that is new. And if you go with this, you'll see it offers a lot of gun for the money once we get into the specs. But it comes with this cardboard case, then a soft case and two eight round magazines msrp 1099 now you may be saying i thought springfield already had an operator line how is this a new release well they do it's called the 1911 marine corps operator that has a green cerakote frame an angled rear sight seven round mags instead of eight and an msrp of 1308 so 209 more for that and then they also have another one called the 1911 loaded operator which is pretty equivalent to this if you look at the specs if you look at what it offers that goes for an msrp of 1409 this is 310 dollars less and i think it's pretty great vz g10 grips you know desert tan coyote brown flat dark earth whatever you want to call it they are VZ grips. I think they look great. Already mentioned two eight-round magazines. These are Metgar mags, very similar to what the Emissary uses. All right, eight rounds. You can see it does have a skeletonized hammer and trigger, extended beaver tail. The grip has some checkering on the flat mainspring housing. They have this same checkering on the 911 pistol, the little subcompact 9mm, they call it the Octo Grip checker, Checkering, and I, I really like it. I like it on the 911, and I like it on the Operator. Smooth front, it does have a 1913 pick rail there, three dot sights, black serrations below, and a tritium front dot, a little more modern. The, the barrel is a match grade barrel to five inch barrel it is forged steel as well as the slide and the frame so it, it's made of heavy duty parts and accessories and i love it now the trigger pull i'm measuring right at four and a half pounds it's a nice trigger pull i love 1911s i've said it for years and look at that reset you just can't beat that does it have the memory bump right there with the grip safety the overall feel and function is amazing I, I really love it you know i took it to the range right out of the case it just shot so well and i'm used to that because of the emissary that they recently released now if you look at the emissary this has an msrp of 1278 so this is a little bit less than the emissary they both have the same tritium front dot you can see the the rear sight two dot versus the u notch and of course the the grips are a bit different if you really squeeze this you'll get a a real firm grip you get some markings on the hand i love that that pistol right there i love it and i love this too they shoot identical and i i, I can't emphasize that enough the one thing that this has uh, outside of it being all cerakoted black is that an ambi thumb safety those who are lefties may may like that and and the the 1911 loaded has an ambi thumb safety too so it's very very much identical to this with a much lower msrp both these are amazing handguns let's go ahead and get on the scale it breaks down the same as any other 1911 it does have a gi style guide rod not a full length guide rod that's another thing you'll notice is that the emissary uses a bull barrel as were this a little more standard but if you could take apart a 1911 rather quickly the way i can you will have no issue at all the unloaded weight two pounds nine and five eighths ounces we move that to just ounces we're looking at 41 and a half ounces but here we have eight rounds of 45 acp 47 and one half ounce right now this is only offered in 45 we'll see what happens and there's one in the chamber 48 and a quarter ounces just for fun 
let's see what the emissary is weighing in at. Same mags. A little more of a stainless look there, but they are the same mags. Made by Metgar. I love Metgar mags. 49 and a half. So the emissary is a little bit heavier, which is no surprise to me because last time I did this, I was able to see that the emissary is a ounce or two heavier than the standard 1911s. But the operator's great. I mentioned I took it to the range on a couple occasions. Let's roll through some of those scenes and we'll come back and wrap it up. Springfield Armory has been cranking out guns in 2021 more than any manufacturer that I have ever seen before. But the handguns, anyways, that get me most excited are the 1911s. They do a phenomenal job, whether it's the Ronin full size in 10 millimeter or the new Ronin EMP 9 millimeter with nine round mags. That's a phenomenal shooter i love the emissary this gun just excites me every time i'm at the range it makes me feel like a professional even though i'm not they have the mil spec you know a little bare bones 1911 but now they have the 1911 operator and i love it i really do love it it's just a uh, enhanced featured full-size 1911 that i think looks cool but it is on target and so we can look forward to that in the future as well as more reviews featuring this 1911 operator made by Springfield Armory. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.